All right, you fucks. Um, that's what I'm doing now. That's going to be the catchphrase. Oh, boy. And look at me looking right down the camera. Exactly what the people want, right? Uh, <laughs> cutting this. Um, so I went to Arby's. I go to Arby's a lot. You might know about my history with Arby's. <laughs> um, but yeah, Arby's is a place that I had rejected for a long time. And then the rare times I would go get it. I was like, hey, this is pretty good. And, uh, but I still wouldn't go. And then pretty recently, I'm going all the time now. It's great. I'm sure I'm going to die of a heart attack. I, I knew that was going to happen. Arby's doesn't really have any new thing that I wanted to try. It actually has this pecan chicken salad sandwich, but I'm allergic to pecans, so I don't want to try that. Um, it seems like not a good idea, <laughs> um, but uh, someone did message me about the Meat Mountain, which is a secret menu sandwich from Arby's that I've had before, but I was like, hey, it could be good to try that, you know, why not? And uh, so, yeah, I decided that I would get it and eat it in front of you. I don't know. Um, <laughs> is that what you want? You just want me to eat? Just Spencer eats in front of me. <laughs> great, great videos. What a great video. Um, Arby's, people don't know, but Arby's has a secret menu and um, they have different stuff on it. It's not like you can go to their website and find it. You can look at their secret menu and see what they have. You know, maybe you, there's some stuff you would enjoy. I don't know. But the Meat Mountain is a meme sandwich. It's just all of their meats put together in a, a sandwich that when I've gotten in the past, it's about the size of a softball of just meat, essentially. It does not come with sauce. Um, it comes with like one or two slices of cheese. Oh, it's happening again. Um, so it's not ideal. So it's, it's a dry sandwich. Um, but I find it's it, it like there, I've had dry sandwiches where you kind of choke them down because they like are too dry. But to me, I think it's manageable, but Hey, uh, that's not even the right thing. This is a, this is a slider. This is a jalapeno roast beef slider, but hey, let's try it because I pulled it out. Um, I don't really like their sliders, but you know, they're whatever. That's not bad. It's not bad. I would finish it, but I want to finish the Meat Mountain before I go back to other things. Like, or at least, yeah, be done with it. I don't know if I have to finish it. All right, so not even fitting in the wrap. <laughs> It cannot, this thing cannot be wrapped. Um, but look at that grease. You see, <laughs> this is, it's a softball. It's like literally the size of a softball. It's crazy. Um, this is maybe a bit bigger than the one I've got at the other Arby's that I won't no longer go to out of shame. Check out my podcast, that happens. It's a podcast with the occasional Jeff Davis. Um, but so, yeah, they got like turkey. They got roast beef. They have, I think, pastrami on here. I think they have something else. They have fried chicken and they have bacon. So, yeah, I the cheese is in there. It's kind of melted. But I think, yeah, there's two slices of cheese, I think. But I don't know. Why don't you sit here and watch me eat? Yeah, man. Tastes like a giant mouthful of meat. And that's, you know, good or bad depending on how you feel. You know, you get that meat. <laughs> Those meaty notes. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> uh, you know, obviously it's salty. I, I actually really like the fried chicken strips. Um, that's this. Oh, God. Losing bacon. You lose bacon. But the chicken adds this kind of dynamic contrast of textures, which is nice. Maybe there's not another mystery meat. Maybe I called them all out. Yeah, I don't know, man. I like plain sandwiches. 
like, oh, God damn. Right into the grease. I don't do a lot of sauces, so this isn't like crazy departure for me, but the meat's juicy. The thing is, to me, it's good. It's good. I want to eat the whole thing, which is insane. Probably no one should eat a whole one of these ever in their life, and I've eaten multiple. <laughs> it's not good. I mean, it is good. It's not, you know, you gotta... I never get sauces from here, but I thought maybe I'd try, try to see what the sauces were like. Three pepper sauce. Just try a bit of sauce on there. I don't know what sandwiches come with this, or if any of the sandwiches come with this. It's not even spite, like it's called three pepper sauce, but it's not spicy. It's um, it's more just kind of like a cherry flavored barbecue sauce to me. It's like you get vinegar and then you get kind of this cherry like sweetness and then kind of the rest of what you normally expect from a barbecue sauce flavor profile. So yeah, some of these bites you get a lot of turkey. I'm not loving that, but it's not bad. It's not like it's bad turkey, it's just, Turkey's probably my least favorite of the meats on the list, you know? Um, so I got an even crazier idea, which I, <laughs> I got the white mac and cheese. Um, oh, the white mac and cheese. They put it in a different container. But their mac and cheese is, in my opinion, incredibly good. Yeah, it's white cheddar, uh, which you can actually taste, I think. Like, it doesn't taste like a normal mac and cheese. It has that kind of bite. Yeah, I really love the mac and cheese. Creamy. You know, cheesy, salty. The noodles are somehow like almost al dente or something where they're pretty firm. They have a lot of a lot of nice like uh, chew to them, like a good toothiness, if you will. But the real secret of mac and cheese is that you can put it on their sandwiches. Um, well, you can try at least. I need like an extra hand. Ugh. Just going wild. Ah. That's, that's the shit right there. Yeah, I just, I don't think most people would like this, honestly, but I am really taking it. It's, it's the kind of shit I like to happen. So, yeah, it's like, I've definitely eaten a majority of this sandwich, but doesn't it still look like it's mostly intact it doesn't like it doesn't look like it looks like a full sandwich still what about both the craziness arby's also has um good soda in my opinion like <clears throat> some places you go and they have bad soda I've never had like a, a bad soda machine experience from Arby's personally. They stopped doing straws, they do paper straws now. And I don't know, a lot of paper straws I've used work fine, but the Arby's paper straws <laughs> kind of suck. They don't work very well. What was that, like 3,000 calories? <laughs> oh God. Um, and you know, not to mention the soda. So Arby's has got to be like four forks. They have a niche. They sit really well in that niche. They have a lot of menu items across the board. They have a lot of variety. They have very little variety at the same time. Um, and they have a they have a pretty wide range of pricing. You know, they have some really cheap options if you're trying to save money. They uh, they have you know larger, more substantial sandwiches. They got great sides most of the time. I didn't even get the sides other than the mac and cheese. It's all good, man. It's all all good stuff. And it's not, you know, super high quality, but I think it's always more surprising. It's like always higher than I expect quality wise, you know? Um, so yeah, four forks, easy. I just think it, it feels wrong to give them five forks, but you know, my satisfaction is, is probably like five fork satisfaction, honestly. Um, and I go there a lot. So that counts for something. No, it doesn't really. Um, but yeah, I gotta go. I, I'm going to pick out coffins today. <laughs> now get the fuck out of here.